Hello and welcome to Big Scott 35 Cards. Let's talk. I think we'll start doing these on every Sunday. I've, I've been enjoying it, especially the comments section. Really enjoying loving hearing from everybody. Uh, you know, being an older guy, and I haven't always been, and I am learning like a new guy here in the hobby. You know, I've always been in it one toe in, um, but man, when I got into the community, saw him watching the videos and then start making videos it's opened my eyes to a whole different world and uh, i love it love it and i want to talk a little bit more about it and uh this is a great venue to do it um today i want to talk a little bit about put a capper on this uh grading thing and what i'm going to do in the future uh i just want to go over i've been watching videos everybody talking about it uh so people talking about how they're going to attack it um I'm going to, that's what I'm going to talk about, how I am going to deal with it. I am not trying to give you, tell you uh, what to do. I'm not even giving you an advice. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. You can take it, leave it, leave your opinions on it. I would love to hear that. Uh, but that's what I want to do. And, and I really have been enjoying all these group talks, uh, the friend talks, uh, the space with here lately, uh, loving those. So, and that's where this kind of stems from. And uh, so, and I just want to start off like on my last video talking about um, SGC price increase and everybody else, you know, uh, Jacob F was saying how um, this has made him refocus on what he's doing. And I'm like, yeah, you're, you're hundred percent right. Because, and let's have fun with that. It makes you revisit your own collection. We might not be able to buy wax or hobby, even hobby prices are too much so you might not be popping packs you're looking for singles but man pull that box out that you got your four graded i got i got three boxes sitting right here and i mean that's what i'm doing let's go through it let's see what i got revisit your collection um there's people pulling out stuff every day right now because people are having more time with that you know oh i didn't even know i had this and i i mean that's kind of how I found my Mike Trout rookies you know I, I I thought I had them but I didn't know they were in that good of shape and man I, I just been having fun with it y'all be like how the hell did you lose I didn't lose them I knew they were there I just didn't know the shape they were in and I didn't I didn't realize I had three of them I thought only had one or two I thought one of them was a reprint um but no I was mistaken <laughs> and, and gladly mistaken so I've been having fun with this. I, I put to, uh, together an order last night for Mike O's group and SGC. Uh, and I can tell you right now, as a collector, seven of those cards will probably be sold. That's how we got to do it. If you want to order, if you want to send to SGC and PSA, that's about where we're at unless you're independently wealthy. And congratulations if you are, or you just don't care about the price point. Um, at that price point, it's just tough for me uh, personally. Um, now I say that, and I'll get those ten cards back, and they might very well end up in my collection. I, I just, as a collector, it's very hard. I do sell every once in a while, but this might crank it up a notch. You know, I I, I keep a stack for selling. I put a bunch of base and cards nine uh not even base just nine uh graded cards on sport lots i i enjoy doing that i feel like on there you're helping other people's collections you're helping the hunters the guys that are doing the flipping that's fine with me you want you want to take my cheap card and take a gamble on on grading it go right ahead um you know i, I have a lot of fun in this hobby in other ways and i've been enjoying watching i'm saying it and saying it again i've been enjoying watching other people's videos on how they're still enjoying the hobby we're not letting it be taken away from us you know everybody's saying oh this is going to take away you know make you no know, lower uh not lower uh people that are just casual out it, it might but I, I just think most of the collectors are going to be around. Once you kind of get the collecting bug, you, you, it's hard to go away from it. Um, so with that, you know, 
I, I just want to, uh, you know, keep talking about what I'm doing here. So get back on my subject, I should say. So SGC, sending cards in, that's where I'm going to sell. And the main reason is if I'm going to pay essentially, you know, I'm paying $22 with shipping a card. If I send them into PSA and a PSA group, it's $28 a card and I get it back in a month versus getting it back. Uh, <laughs> with PSA six, eight, 12 months, you know what, who knows? Um, and when you're paying 25 opposed to $12 card or whatever, uh, like I said in the last one, you know, a $12, $15 price point, you can keep them a year. I, I, that's when I'm at that collecting phase. I mean, that's $10 a card. You're talking about how many extra cards you can send in for the same $100, right? So at, that's the kind of way I'm looking at it. Um, you know, uh, with PSA, I'm kind of probably done. I got, I don't know how many cards I have PSA, probably a couple hundred right now personal and in group break or group breaks group submissions um you know I, I got one probably i got one in q1 whatever so i have it's just a pack i'm hoping to get that back in a week or so um at psa but that's where i'm at with those two um and i'm done with uh star wars russell car wrestling cards just non-sports cards for the most part, you know, I might sl slide one in, you know, because if I'm sending in 10 cards, right, you know, I, I'm, I, I'm not, I, I don't even think it's, I, me sending in my Gary Carter's done. I'm buying them on a the secondary market. That That's where I'm at right now. And I hope the prices don't get spiked up because of that price. I, I know it could, and it's wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me. And it's kind of, you're kind of looking for that, but if I see a slab that doesn't even have the, uh, what is it? The lighthouse slab. Yeah. I'm going to be like, well, yeah. come on, dude, <laughs> you know, and, or lower, you know, a six or a seven, all of a sudden it's $25 more than what it used to be or an eight. You know, you took the gamble and lost. You, you shouldn't pass on the grading prices, but. I, I can see it happening and I can understand it happening. I just hope it doesn't happen. Um, so with that being said, what am I going to do with my collecting cards? I'm still going to get them graded, but where and how am I going to get it graded? Well, I got six cards in at CSG, which is CDC who does the comic books and all of that. Um, now they for six cards i want to say what were they 20 bucks something like that a card um no it wasn't that much i can't remember 15 i can't remember right off the top of my head but they have right now that's a 40 day turnaround um the flips are not they're green i, I they're not very eye appealing on their web page. I'm kind of waiting to see to get them in hand, um, what they're going to look like. Uh, and I'm not getting the four subgrades. Um, you know, they got the two guys from Beckett. They're kind of following that where you can get the subgrades, but I'm not. Therefore, my these are my personal collection. You know, and I want them to hold some value. And I think this company is reputable enough in our community to at least hold value some value now is this going to be the next one where people buy them cheap to bust them to send to psa it might be but with psa prices right now these lower end cards got to hold some type of value right so with that being said i'm just trying to be logical and i still want to get something graded mainly for my fun just to see what would I have? And it's for fun, 100%. I'm doing a 50 card submission group, uh, a bulk for $8 a card. Me and one of my other friends are putting together some um, sports cards. They also do Pokemon and 
uh, Pokemon and uh, what's the other one? Uh, Magic the Gathering, right? For non-sports. And I, they're, I sent them an email and they're saying they're going to enlarge what they do. Because, um, man, if they did Star Wars and all that at $8, I would be loving life. And to me, being what they grade, like comic books and posters or postcards, they do all this other stuff. I mean, that's just the natural transition to uh, non-sports cards. I would have thought they went in that direction first, but uh, I'm hoping it's soon, than, sooner than later. Uh, they do currency. I guess they're, I think they're even more legit. Like their currency is more valued on their flips than PSA, I think, the way I was reading about it and doing research. So I, I think they got some legitimacy right out the gate. Um, you know, with HGA, I think it's a bought legitimacy. And I, what I mean by that is by making it so uh, hard to get in, it's making it more fashionable to get it. I, all these people, they get so excited when they get their cards back to show. And I see that, again, they're lowering how many how many you can send in to try to get more people in the door, which is smart because the more people you got, the more word of mouth. I've also seen problems with their flips. Um, names are wrong. Uh, the colors don't really match. Uh, you know, it hasn't been huge. They're going to have their problems growing pains and other things and they've they've taken off the ai thing off their web page and talking about it because so many people are like you know you're telling us how this works you need to really show us how it works and uh so they kind of stopped talking about that um and there's no like the guy that's running it has no background in this he's i mean he just started because he's got the money to start it. I think it's a very, I've said it before, opportunistic way of making money. It's fine. I'm not buying into it. Uh, somehow his, the flips are kind of, I mean, HGA cards are kind of holding value too. And people think that's some game plan on, on, uh, on eBay with that as well. Uh, but, you know, I hope it succeeds because having another option is not bad, but I'm having, to me, uh, things are not adding up and I'm just waiting to see. I think CSG is a better option. Um, and then I know, uh, talking with some people, they're even sending into GMA, uh, cause they seem to have gotten better. Um, there is a GMA group on YouTube that really backs them up and uh it all started because you got them back so fast so again it was first on market type of deal um they still you know there's that's the slab that you buy to crack to send to somewhere else um but you know if it's a high end it, and if it's a lower end card that that's a viable place too but their prices are going up at, at fifth at eight dollars a card at csg at the moment i'm going to take advantage of that so i'm going to put one together to send out probably uh this is being released sunday so that'll be um hopefully i can send that out on monday uh and get that back and that's a 60 day turnaround so you're looking at less than two months 60 business days to get that turnaround at the moment and they're subject to change they tell you that that's what the what their estimated time is at the moment and that's the good thing about they change their times it could go up it could go down and they're not trying to bs the customer and go oh this is a 30 day and then you sub it and you're like oh well we don't even you know put it in our system for three months now my and i sent in it did take probably about two weeks to put it in their system after I sent it in. So they're playing that little, oh, it's 60 days, but it's from the time of submission. So they've already got that down. <laughs> they're right in there with that one. 
So with that, you know, I, that's what I'm doing with uh, with the subgrades, and you know that and just having or not sub. That's how I'm subbing for you know, and I'm not getting the subgrades for CSG. I want to re just that's how I'm going to do things. Is for my collection right now, CSG, and I, I'll just you know, yes, fifty cards at eight dollars is a lot of money. You know, with, with with shipping and everything, you're four hundred fifty dollars, whatever. But you know, I could do that every couple of months and still have cards. And even if I want to, uh, see by selling some of them and just see what it does if I if I want to. But I'm going to keep sending an SGC to sell, and that might offset what I'm sending in for my personal collection at CSG. That's what I'm thinking. I want to hear what y'all are thinking. I love to hear ideas. Um, there's no good, bad, or indifferent. They're your opinions. And uh, when it comes to this, you got to do what's right for yourself. And please don't ask, <laughs> where should I send this one? You know, do the research. Google's a step away. Uh, listening to what I have to say might not be right for you. Listening to a person that preaches SGC might not be right for you. Same way with PSA, you know, it, it's all right there. Uh, it just depends on how fast you want it back and return on value if, if you're looking for that. So until next time, you know, leave me with like, share, uh, dislike if you really, you know, hate me or this video, uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, you know, subscribe, you know, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm going to try to do this on every Sunday. Uh, if I pick up traction, it might even be something I do live in the future where we can have conversations, uh, friends of the hobby, something. But that's something that's way down the road. Um, I just think I have a lot of fun with this. And until next time, see ya.